Hi. Are you a Colorado Springs anti-fascist? I just heard this. Um... Hate speech isn't free speech. Hate speech isn't free speech. ShireSociety.com. Join up and move to New Hampshire for more freedom. Now that it's finally quiet, can I get a shot of your sign and ask you a question? Are you, are you actually against him being allowed to speak or are you just objecting to his speech? To his speech. So you, you don't think that he should be stopped from speaking or? I think his words should be changed if he will speak here on a public campus. Well, who, should, who should change his words? He should think more about what he says before he says it. Preaches it to a bunch of other people. Do you think your university should have stopped him from giving a speech? That's a tough question that I am not prepared to answer. All right, fair enough. Yes. Okay, thanks. You had the most, um, the sign that spoke to that issue the most, and I've been wanting to ask that question all night. Yeah. Thank you for answering it. Hi. Are you a Colorado Springs anti fascist? I just heard this. Um, hate speech isn't free speech. 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 She's trying to keep him. She's trying to keep him from touching me. But he is trying to block the shot. It's not what I would do to you, bro. Hate speech isn't free speech. Are you with Colorado Springs anti-fascists? I had an incident, I guess about, I don't know, 30 minutes ago, where I was trying to talk to one of your people, and one of your other people put a sign in front of my camera. Now, how is that consistent with the building bridges thing that you guys have been shouting? All right. Be safe. So, you know, I mentioned earlier that they had locked off a street. Well, they have apparently blocked it off so that they can let protesters stand in it. So, again, doing better than most universities would. I would have expected to have been kicked out by the university by now. Along with all these folks. Fascists are not welcome here, no hate, no fear. Fascists are not welcome here, no hate, no fear. Fascists are not welcome here, no hate, no fear. I hate fascists. I'm not part of this. I'm not part of this. So they're trying to go into the building now uh, where the speech is, I don't know, going on or was going. I'm not really actually sure what time it is right now. Let's see how far they get. At least we're letting them at least into the building. It's going to be a real snow mess. This is the building where the speech is happening, but you can't really get to the speech from this part of the building, is my understanding. Do I have to pay to get in? Do I have to pay to get in? Okay. Alright, thanks. Okay, so they're, they're going back out the building for some reason. The, the anti-Milo demonstration. So you're asking me to go? You, but you kind of got your hands on me there. Uh, <laughs> Have a good night, sir. All right, thanks. You take care. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So it seems like these folks have studied some of the protest books. They know not to do just everything you're told. And they know that being told to do one thing doesn't mean you have to do everything else.
Can I get a sense of what your sign means? Are you with Colorado Springs Anti-Fascist? Why is it that so many folks on your side are so unwilling to speak to the camera but everyone else seems to want to talk? Do you want your viewpoint to be heard? Uh, okay, this is a first. I find myself in the middle of a uh, <laughs> a line of police. <laughs> yeah. Well, not anymore. <clears throat> Thank you, sir. So there was another first for me today, and that was I found myself at an event where the protesters, or the police, were apparently better behaved than the protesters. That's a little weird. Uh, yeah, the chief did seem to be kind of going back on his word a little bit regarding the free speech zone, but that could be a mis misunderstanding. But, uh, you know, you didn't see any Republicans or officials or uh, college people putting their hand in front of that camera, or even really refusing to speak to me. Yeah, some of them didn't answer some of my questions, but, uh, uh, you know, that's, they're well within their purview. I don't know, I, I am glad for once to be able to report to you that, uh, you know, some government officials and university officials behaved well. I didn't expect that. The old world is collapsing. And it's going to take its slave driver governments with it. But what will rise up in their place? In New Hampshire, the Shire Society has a plan. An updated web forum and a history of action. He didn't take long to come up with a plan. You can sign up right now at ShireSociety.com.